Hey everybody, this is Saber, and I'm back with a special episode of Stormage Ship Reviews. Now, I say special because all of today's ships were submitted by Bench Minecraft, who, if you don't know, was responsible for the uh, official Starmade trailer. And normally I wouldn't do all of the ships um, in one episode by one person. However, today, September 5th, is Bench's birthday. So, um, if you guys are watching this on September 5th, then head on over to his channel. I'll link it either down below or like in the description somewhere. Uh, so head on over to his channel, maybe give him a subscribe, he makes some really good stuff, and just tell him happy birthday. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into his builds. So the first ship is going to be a Pelican, which I'm assuming is one of the ones from Halo, and judging from the look of it, yes, definitely one of the ones from Halo. So I'll do a quick fly around of it. Uh, I'm kind of surprised to see it's brown because every one that I've ever seen has been uh, made out of, you know, grayer holes, but, I mean, it works, obviously. Otherwise, pretty accurate. Um, I I would suggest making the, uh, the rear end of it a little bit larger. Um, I mean, the shape is dead on, except for, like, the cockpit. Given its size, the rest of it seems like it's a tad small compared to that. But, I mean, I think the cockpit works really well as far as that size. So yeah, I base the rest of the ship off of that dimension, because yeah, it is just a little bit small. Um, with that in mind, though, it could be small because it has to uh, fit into like a a ship, which we'll probably see later today. Oh, and uh, those right there are my targets. I'll get to those later, but uh, for now, let's check out this ship. So okay, we've got two, no, oh, three carpets in here. Nice, and then. God. Um, so even though this thing is pretty small, looks like it's got quite a few armaments. Okay, there we go. Alright, okay, now to these. Okay, so um, I received a suggestion in one of my previous videos to do more standardized weapon tests. So I've got two different tests here. Uh, this target over here is uh, shield testing. So it has, it's a ship that has 10,000 shields. So uh, that should allow for good shield testing. And then this over here, um, I think, I don't know if he was the first one or not, but um, Apex Origin uh, originally discovered the, or I believe originally discovered the idea to use water as kind of a ballistics gel. So you could see, you know, how much penetration you're getting out of your shots. So I'm going to do both of those for each ship, or at least I'll try to remember to do that for each ship. Um, you know, basically from here on out. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and... So I'm not terribly surprised, cause, just because it is a small ship. So it's, uh, you know, not going to have a ton of firepower. But yeah, um, like I said, I wanted to keep this pretty standardized, so it is 10,000 and like 10,001 shields or something like that. But let's go ahead and see what kind of... Uh, penetration this thing gets. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to uh, load in a new um, new water ship every time or not, or water target every time, but uh, we'll see how much damage it ends up doing. Okay, it's only one block, but again, not terribly surprised. It's more for, you know, the aesthetics of it. Oh, and uh, something else that you guys had mentioned, or somebody had mentioned in the comments before, was to test the mobility. So uh, I will try and do, you know, a little bit of a fly around with each ship. Um, you know, as I get to that point in the review. So and this one seems like it's pretty good. Um, you know, it, it is a fairly small ship, so I'm not terribly surprised that it's pretty quick, um, pretty quick to respond. Turns well, but uh, I think that will about wrap it up for the ship, so I'll go ahead and park this thing, and then I'll move on to the next ship. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so the next ship is going to be the Serenity. And I'm guessing this will be um, the ship from Firefly, which was a, a show that got canceled way too early in my opinion. But uh, it was a really cool, like, space western, I guess, is the best way to describe it. So I'll go ahead and grab this and fly around. But looks like it's definitely pretty accurate, at least from the outside. Um, one of the things about this ship is that it does have a lot of curves to it. Well, I mean, at least like the... Uh, you know, the whole neck here going up towards the cockpit. He did a pretty good job of matching all that. But, yeah, it definitely looks 
pretty nice. Got a lot of the details into it. Um, like all the stuff here at the back looks really good. And then even uh, up top here. Oh, those are really cool. Yeah, I really like these fans that he's got here. That's neat. So, yeah, great use of wedges here. But I think I'll try and find my way in here. Um, not really sure why that's open. But, uh, yeah, the main hangar should be... Oh, yep, there it is. This is the main hangar up here. But, um... Oh, wait, you know what? Um, actually, up here... Uh, I forgot there's a there's two shuttles, which are, both of these right here are shuttle base. So a shuttle would come fly in here and then, like, slide in and dock right there. So that's what uh, what those spots are for. Because then, you know, just open straight up into the cargo bay. So I'll go ahead and head into the hangar here. And um, head in the correct way, I guess, if you will. One thing about doing a, uh, like, a recreation of a ship from a show or a movie is it's really cool to be able to see it. You know, it's you get to experience it instead of just seeing it in a show. So it's looking pretty good so far. Got some missing wedges up here, looks like. Um, not really sure. Oh, wait, you know, I bet. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's these docking points here. So that's probably why he had to uh, have those chunks out. I'll we'll go ahead and grab some gravity here and walk around. It does look like it's a little taller than I expected, but um, that's not to say that it isn't actually that height. I just, you know, from the show, I don't remember it being as tall, but, you know, they don't really show many shots of how tall the uh, main hangar is. So then... So yeah, oh, these are the uh, things that go up to the shuttle bay. So basically it would dock, and then you just walk straight into the shuttle. So it basically just becomes like another room. So I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be for. Just kind of a open door into space. I'm not sure. It's not like a landing bay or anything. But then this over here is the uh, like mess hall kind of area. The uh, interesting thing about it was that like in the show, it basically just looks like a, a kitchen that you'd have in your house. You know, kitchen dining room. It's not especially like spacey or futuristic or anything. It just looks kind of like a house's kitchen. I don't know. Pretty cool. Oh, got a weird bug over here, though. Hmm. I've noticed this in some situations, but not underneath of a uh, corner like this. But, yeah, there is actually a block there. I can't place anything. That's interesting. I'm not seeing any other doors out of here. So, uh, we'll go ahead and head on up to the cockpit. Oh, wait, no. There actually is, um... Some uh, some housing, or not housing, some rooms, which are all along the wall here. So yeah, this would be a uh, little bedroom. But actually, the cool thing about these in the show was that um, right here, like it would be just a hatch on the floor. And then you would open it and just send a ladder down. But I mean, you know, there's obviously no problem having wedges there instead. Same thing over here, I'm guessing. Yeah, the uh, the whole hall is just lined with the entire crew quarters, so everybody would be staying in these rooms. And I'm not really sure what this is, but uh, I don't know. Just could just be a closet or something. Again, it's been a while since I've uh, seen the show. It's been I don't know a few months since I watched it. Oh, here's the uh, the actual pilot station. Now there is something missing from this though, and any Firefly people will notice it, but um, some plastic dinosaurs clearly need to be on this thing. So we need to uh, try and get on scheme about that. I'm kidding. We don't need plastic dinosaurs in here. <laughs> Funny as it would be, it's not necessary. So alright, I'll go ahead and jump in here. Oh, and um, shouldn't be any guns, because, yeah, okay, no guns. Because uh, this isn't a uh, combat ship or anything, it's just kind of a transport. It's a smuggler ship, basically. But yeah, it does look really nice. So I'll go ahead and kind of test this thing's mobility out. It's about what I would expect from a ship of this size. I mean, you know, it's not uh, really agile, but it's pretty quick for being a uh, ship of this size. Again, it's kind of a smuggler ship, so um, it's nice to have it be pretty quick.
But okay, I think that will about do it for this ship. So, um... Well, actually, no, hang on. I want to, uh... I want to check this thing again in, in build mode because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because I didn't see the uh, engine room anywhere. So I don't know if I just missed it or if it's not in there. I'll go ahead and head down here. And yeah, I'm not seeing any, uh... Any other doors to get out of the hangar, other than the main one? So I guess there isn't a, uh, I guess there isn't a engine room because it, it's just like a hallway that goes down, and then it's just, you know, this random small room with the part of the engine in it. I don't actually know, you know, what part, but it was something they worked on quite a bit in the show. But yeah, I'm not seeing it. But I mean, you know, that's with a build like this it's not imperative because I mean you know he does at least get the spirit of the the craft pretty well done I'll get the next one loaded in and then we can go ahead and check that out okay the next ship is going to be the Amber Fate which I'm guessing is a recreation of um, one of the Halo UNSC frigates or whatever their actual classification is and I really really hope these Plex Beacons don't show up <laughs> oh man I've been seeing quite a few bugs with these lately, like in my uh, Wings of Icarus video I had to, you know, fight against a couple ships that were, well, by fight against I mean like fight the bugs of the Plex Beacons. So I mean, I, I think I still ended up getting some of the shots in there, but it couldn't really be avoided. Yeah, definitely looks pretty nice. Um, you know, I've, I don't know a ton about the Halo universe, but I do know a fair amount, and uh, I do recognize this type of ship, and it looks pretty cool. Um, fairly accurate as far as I can tell. Uh, one thing I think I would change would be with this big flat area here, um, maybe try and add some details into it, you know, like add some additional armor plating or something. But then, oh, wait, hang on. Oh, those are plex doors. Oh, okay. Never mind, negate whatever I just said. Oh, that's, oh, see, that right there is exactly why the, uh, the pelican is smaller than it, you know, normally would be. It's so it can fit into the, these little spots here. So yeah, okay. Really nice work on that then. Because, I mean, they keep their proportions really well. But I'll go ahead and do a finish up the lap around this thing. Oh, and then we got the Mac Cannon up here, looks like. Yeah. Mac Cannon is, for anybody who doesn't know, is basically just a super powerful, like, um, I forget what the actual acronym means. It's like Magnetic Acceleration Cannon. I don't know, something like, but it's like a magnetic super cannon, basically. Really cool stuff, but yeah, got some good details up here. So yeah, it definitely looks like a uh, tough old ship. So we'll go ahead and head into one of the hangars here and uh, see if we can get some exploring done. All right, so I think we'll check out the front first, see what's all up here. I'm trying, I'm curious what this door up here is. I guess it could just be a uh, oh. Yeah, I, I guess it might just be a uh, exit, like a forward exit for the ships. I'm not really sure. Maybe something a little more protected than being out at the sides. Okay, let's go ahead and keep heading up forward. Oh, okay, looks like we got some shuttlecraft up here. Um, I'm afraid I don't know much about any shuttlecraft in uh, the Halo universe. I've never really noticed any, and so I can't really say if these are accurate or not, but... Still, they do fit pretty well with the uh, design. So now we'll go ahead and head back uh, to the back and then try and head up to the bridge. Hopefully I won't get too lost. It is pretty straightforward though, so I'm not terribly worried about that. Looks like there's uh, some kind of troop ship. Oh no, that's like a supply carrier maybe? Um, one thing I would do with these ramps would be to add uh, inverted wedges on the underside because that way it'll just kind of smooth it all out and give it a better look. But other than that, that's the first thing that I've really noticed that I would uh, give a recommendation on changing. So we'll continue on up here. Oh cool, got some repair ships. Nice. So yeah, he does uh, use his space pretty well because even up here he's got, you know, room for little ships to be parked and stuff. Alright, so we'll continue on up to the bridge. Okay, there we got some gravity. Whoa, whoa what? Um, okay, well, I was just trying to use the 
door. That's weird. All right, we'll see if we can get back in. I don't think I've had that happen recently, if ever. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and head on up to the uh, bridge now. Oh, got another door. Okay. What? 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 <laughs> okay. Um. That's new. Hmm. All right, we'll try this again. Hopefully, it uh, won't do it. I guess if nothing else, then I'll be able to find a new bug. I guess. Um, I am on the not the pre-release update, but I'm on you know the most recent update. So it's not uh, I'm not behind or ahead of anything. Huh? Yeah, that's weird. Whenever I'm next to the door. I activate it. I get teleported out. That doesn't make any sense. Here, hang on. We'll see if I can get this figured out. Alright, open the door. This time I'll try and stay a little further away. Oh, okay. I was in the door. Alright. So, yeah, apparently if you have a door closed on you now, it teleports you uh, a little ways off. Hmm. That's strange. Alright, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and head to the core now test this thing out. I'll grab the stats for you guys. And then let's uh, go ahead and do some tests with this thing. It would help if I stayed in the core. Okay. Alright, now we can do some tests with this thing. Check out the... Uh, oh wow, that is a lot of weapons. Holy cow. Okay, so yeah, this thing is definitely combat focused. Not that I didn't expect that, but I didn't expect quite this many different uh, weapons to be set up on it. So I think I'll go ahead and uh, just see what the default layout is. And of course I hit missiles first time. <laughs> Happens like every time. I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll see what the you know default layout is. And then I always hit something, usually missiles. So, okay, I think I'll have to go ahead and set those up manually then. I'll check out these cockpits first. Ooh, I really like this one. That's a nice view. It's really cool to have kind of a a more cinematic view like this for you know really big ships. Just helps to show your ship off a little more. It gives it a little more artistic feel, I guess you could say. You know, it's better than just being at the front where you, know, you don't get a sense of scale with your ship. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get all these set up. Try and get everything kind of organized. I think I'm... wait, what, there's two more? Well, I'm gonna have more weapons than I... Oh no, I'm gonna have to get rid of the docking beam. Well, that's the first ship I've seen that uh, I've had to use that, or had to do that. Yeah, you actually have to get rid of your docking beam in order to uh, get all the weapons in. That's really cool, actually. That means this thing's a beast. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of that, let's go ahead and test this thing out. All right, I'll test out the AMCs on the shield target first and uh, see how much uh, damage it's going to do to the shields. Looks like a shotgun setup for the AMCs. Pretty nice. Should uh, drain shields pretty quick. Yep, there they go. That's a nice thing with, you know, a shotgun style thing, styled cannons, is that uh, it really drains shields quick. So I'll go ahead and hope it's recharged. It doesn't look. Well, maybe a little bit. Oh man, yeah, nope. <laughs> Shields are not recharging fast enough. Nice, that punch straight through, I think. Let's go ahead and check that out. Go ahead and move up here on build mode. Because it definitely punched through. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> nice, straight through. Oh, that's cool. This thing packs a wallop. That's right, a wallop. I said it. All right, go ahead and test that one out too. Wow, yeah, this thing really packs a punch. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try the missiles. It's got enough of them, good grief. And of course, I miss all of them. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Bye missiles. Uh, I should have waited for it to lock on, oh well. I'll uh, give it another shot here. 
Actually, first, um, I want to try out uh, see how much penetration these cannons have. Because another thing with shotgun uh, stuff is that if they do get focused in on one point, then basically all the beams kind of meet up and kill blocks at the same time, or rather one right after the other. So that way, it, you know, we'll punch through quite a few layers, so it'll penetrate pretty far. So I'll do one, and then two, three, and then four, and then we'll uh, I'll go check it out in build mode, see how far it ended up penetrating. Oh yeah, that's nice. Dang. Yeah, pretty good. So it looks like the uh, fourth one is the strongest. But yeah, definitely got some good penetration on that. And no, I'm not making any sex jokes out of this. Because <laughs> this is probably going to happen every episode now, so... Yeah, I'm going to not do that. Definitely got some power with those cannons. Okay, let's go ahead and try those missiles out again. Go ahead and uh, get this thing locked on. Get lined up a little bit better. So it took a few tries, so never mind the uh, missiles that are totally bugging out right now. But I got this thing lined up better, got it locked on. Should be taking this thing out. Oh yeah, there it goes. Nice. Whole thing's gone. So yeah, the missile is definitely pack a punch too. So yeah, this thing is just a beast as far as combat goes. Um, if you uh, if you get it on your server and spawn it as a pirate, beware, because it's going to kick some butt. Alright, so I'll go ahead and try and do a little bit of the maneuverability. See if I can kind of show you guys. I mean, it's a big ship, so it's not going to be really quick. But you'll be able to see here. So, all right, I'll go ahead and uh, get this thing parked, and I think this will be about the end of the episode for me, because I mean we've done we've gotten three really good ships out of this. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we've had three really good ships today, so definitely looking forward to seeing some more stuff from Bench. He's a great builder and uh, does great work on videos too. So hopefully we'll see some great stuff from him in the future. But uh, I hope you have a great birthday, buddy, and uh, I hope the rest of you guys have a great day as well. But other than that. That's everything for me, so thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you all later.